بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایم ڈاکٹر محب اللہ وزیر اینڈ دا ٹاپک از پیرونیل کمپارٹمنٹ لک دس از دا لیٹرل آر پیرونیل کمپارٹمنٹ آف دا لیگ کانسٹنگ آف ٹو مسل دس سپرفیشیل ون دس از پیرونیس لانگس اینڈ دس ڈیپر ون دس از پیرونیس پریویس لوور ڈاؤن دا ٹین اینڈ ہاف پیرونیس پریویس اٹ کمز مور انٹیریئر ان کنٹیکٹ وتھ دا پوچیر سرفیس آف دا لیٹر ملیولس while that of Pernus Langus passes more lower down and separated from the lateral malleolus by that of Pernus Brevius. We discuss Pernus Langus. Look, the Pernus Langus, this one, it originates from the head of the fibula and from the upper two third of the lateral or peroneal surface of the fibula, okay, and from the interosseous membrane. Look this over here, please. Look, this is the fibula, the anterior border of the fibula, and this is the posterior border. This is the peroneal surface. From the head of the fibula, from the upper two-thirds of the peroneal or lateral surface of the fibula, and from the interosseous membrane, originate the peroneus longus muscle. So lying superficial to the peroneus brevius. Then it descends downward, it turn on and passes over here. Look again, look over here, please. And the turn on, look over, over here. Look, this is peroneus longus, and this is the tendon of peroneus longus, and anterior to that, that is the tendon of peroneus brevius. So this peroneus longus then passes behind the lateral malleolus but separated from the lateral malleolus by the tendon of peroneus brevius. Then this peroneus longus tendon passes deep to the superior peroneal retinaculum and deep to the inferior peroneal retinaculum. And over here the two tendons are being enclosed. Look. The two tendons are being enclosed in a common synovial sheath. You can see these two tendons are a common synovial sheath. And then both this tendon it reaches over here. Look, it reaches over here to this peroneal trochlea. The brevis passes interior to the peroneal trochlea, while the longus passes posterior to the peroneal trochlea. And from over here, look, the, the commercial annual sheet divided into two, one surrounding the previous and one around the peroneus longus. And then this peroneus longus tendon passes posterior to the peroneal trachlea and it lies in this groove of the cuboid bone and then passes from lateral to medial and is being attached over here over here to the plantar surface of base of the first metatarsal and also to the adjoining medial cuneiform bone and look look when this contract when this contract first look this insertion this is peroneus longus it passes to the medial cuneiform and to the base of first metatarsal bone look by two slips Look, let me say this is the foot and it comes from lateral to medial to be attached over here. When it contracts this, number one, it turns the, this medial border like this so that it causes eversion because the tendon comes from over here. And number two, note, it makes the foot like this so that the transverse arch as well as the longitudinal arch both are also being supported by this peroneus longus. Note the point. Number one, number one, it vote. And number two, it make the foot, this is foot, it make the foot like this so that the transverse arch as well as the longitudinal arches, especially the lateral longitudinal arch is also being supported. And then you know, you know that the tendon passes, the tendon passes posterior to the ankle joint behind the lateral malleolus 
that's why it is weak flexor of the ankle joint as well plantar flexor plantar flexor of the ankle joint while the e version it this moment occurs at the subtalar joint note the e version the plantar flexion the dorsiflexion and plantar flexion it occurs at the ankle joint while the e version and e version it occurs at a small joints below the tail that is subtalar joint that is e version it is e version also note at this point over here look the pernus tensus is also being inserted over here to the over here to the the, the fifth metatarsal that also causes E version. The pronus brevis also being attached to the fat metatarsal. In this way, pronus longus, brevis, and uh, tertius, all of the three causes E version of the foot. Its nerve supply is the superficial peroneal nerve and a branch of the common peroneal nerve, and its blood supply is for branch from the peroneal or tree. This is about the peroneus longus. Thank you very much.